looked like something out of the Grand Theft Auto video game, but it was real playing out from Kent into Southeast King County. Video provided by the King County Sheriff's Department shows how many lives one man was willing to risk. And new today, Fox 13's David Rose reports that prosecutors have charged the suspect seen in that chaotic chase. Hey, uh, Guardian 1, I have a uh, white Escalade on the move. It's going uh, southbound on 100th Avenue. The pursuit begins in Kent. Guardian 1 locks onto the stolen vehicle, a white Escalade. One of the suspects, a 26-year-old man, goes into a shell station. Before he can complete his gas station stop, he spots police and jumps back in the driver's seat, speeding off. Officers hold off on chasing the suspect, but even so, things start to get dangerous. And he's been involved in a collision at the intersection. The impact doesn't slow our bad guy. He keeps pedal to the metal, and he's gone. Next, we catch up with the car thief as he sideswipes a Ford Explorer. There's a pause, but only to size up the opportunity to switch vehicles. The carjacking over in seconds. The driver pulled out from behind the wheel. The passenger almost goes along for the ride, stumbling out as the suspect speeds off. A minute later, another life is about to change for the worst. But the owner of this blue SUV doesn't go quietly. Very one, he's carjacking a second vehicle, fighting with the driver of a blue SUV. While the owner lost the fight, she bought some time for the cops to catch up with the criminal. He has one bout of lawbreaking left in him, playing a quick game of bumper cars with an officer's vehicle, and then racing off. Though his next accident would be his last. Gary one just had a traffic collision at uh, Petrovitsky at 231st. The suspect T-bones a gray car. Sheriff's deputies quickly swoop in with guns drawn. At this point, he wisely decides to give up. So the final tally here, five vehicles damaged or disabled, two people carjacked, and two arrests. You see, our driver had an accomplice who was later picked up. The driver is Ernesto Rojas Renteria, and he's being held on a $290,000 bond. He's charged with two counts of first-degree robbery. The alleged accomplice, Brandy Marie Gomez, she's being held on a $15,000 bond. Both are charged with possession of a stolen vehicle and attempting to elude a pursuing police vehicle.